gangs in France's second largest city are turning to social media to hire hitmen as young as 14. Earlier this month in Marseille, a 14-year-old allegedly shot a taxi driver to get revenge for the brutal murder of a 15-year-old. It's thought to be linked to a war between the DZ Mafia and the Blacks gangs. Already 17 people have been killed in Marseille this year alone. The background to the latest case has been laid out by Marseille prosecutors alleging a 23-year-old DZ Mafia member in jail hired a 15-year-old through social media, paying him £1,600 to intimidate a rival. The plan was to set fire to his door while filming it, but according to the prosecutor, the rival Black's gang caught the teenager, stabbed him 50 times and burned him alive. Just two days later, the jail gang member allegedly hired another 14-year-old through social media again. He promised him £42,000 for a revenge hit. Alain Lotte is a lawyer in Marseille. He has watched the creation of the DZ Mafia and represented many of its members. We are in a situation souvent de precarity or de vulnerability. And as a young adolescent, 13, 14 years old, he doesn't measure absolutely the gravity of what they will do. It's even, if you want, absolutely sidérant to see the facility of the passage à l'acte. Alors que on pourrait se dire qu'à 13-14 ans, on a quand même atteint un petit peu l'âge de raison et ils ne mesurent pas les risques qu'ils encourent parce que les risques sont multiples et variés. But the plan failed when authorities say the boy shot his taxi driver, 36-year-old Nessim Ramdam, who had refused to wait while he completed his mission. The jail gang member who hired the teen then called the police to turn the teen in. The 14-year-old was arrested and admitted to shooting the driver, but said it was an accident. Uh, on désigne la cible, et uh, uh, comme s'il s'agissait d'un vol de, de raisin ou de pommes, il passe à l'acte. Et c'est sidérant la facilité de ce passage à l'acte. Local prosecutor Nicolas Besson called the situation unprecedented savagery. He claimed gangs are dragging young people into violent, tough wars. Comment se fait-il qu'on puisse décemment proposer sur un réseau social de recruter des tueurs à gages et que, sans aucun filtre, sans aucun contrôle, euh, ça puisse se passer ça, on peut pas continuer comme ça. With 17 drug-related murders this year and 49 in 2023, many think Marseille is stuck in a vicious cycle.